tonight, a free Halloween attraction in Fresno had some of its props stolen last night. It's a special pace designed to meet the needs of autistic kids and others who might be frightened by other more scary haunted houses. Juanita Adame has more as the creator says they'll work to keep the spirit of the attraction alive despite the theft. Well, the haunted maze is a neighborhood favorite. They accommodate the attraction to cater to children with epilepsy and autism. But Walker tells us that last night a group of adults came in acting like guests and stole some of their props. For the last nine years, Ted Walker has been entertaining the neighborhood with his haunted maze attraction. Started off with a little barbecue setup. We had like three little displays in the front yard, and then nine families ended up showing up on that day. Halloween is something he's passionate about, and he said it took years for them to build the maze to what it is today. And they even modify the attraction for those with special needs or conditions. We do all sorts of conditions. So yeah, with autism, epilepsy, or, or maybe some that don't want to get scared too much. But last night, Walker said they got a group of visitors that he did not recognize. We were doing our usual night. It was getting kind of slow, so we were kind of doing our process of, of turning things off and everything. We had this one family come in, a bunch of adults come in. He said the group requested a non-scary attraction, which meant they'd be left to walk the house alone. They asked for the non-scary with no actors, which is a, a usual thing. We get a lot of people that come in that don't want none of the actors in there. They usually have little kids and stuff. He thought it was strange that a group of adults requested the non-scary attraction, but it wasn't until the next family walked through that they realized why the group wanted to be left alone with the props. So then the next family wanted an extra scary, so I pulled all my actors in, and when they went in, they noticed a bunch of stuff were missing, masks were missing, weapons were missing, and stuff like that. So then we went in with the flash, I looked it up, and then we, for sure, yeah, we we're missing a lot of stuff from him. He felt the group took advantage of his good intentions. We're very disappointed, but we're still going to be open to our community, and we're still going to keep uh, helping them out, helping out the community. Now, Walker also sent us a list of the missing items. We will have photos of those items on our website, yourcentralvalley.com. Reporting here in Fresno, Juanita Adame, KC24, Local News That Matters.